before people start asking questions, you keep some questions ready, like challenging questions, so that people will get motivated to ask questions. Sure, sure. Your questions will suggest them that they can also ask questions. Sure, sure. Uh, it should be really challenging. What happens when there is an emergency, when there is severe pain in the appendix or so? If people say it's an emergency, immediately you have to rush to the hospital. And there are so many situations when your breathing is very hard and you can't breathe anymore and you rush, rush them to the hospital, emergency situations. Sure. All that questions you should ask. Sure, sure. I'll do that. And initially, in the first part will be what is natural health science, yeah. so natural hygiene. When we talk about that in 15 minutes, then it will you will ask why. If that is so, is how do you uh, deal with uh, what do you call uh, the situations where you need do need medicine? Sure, sure. Are there any situations where you do need medicines like that? Sure. Okay, so I think people have joined in and uh, we will okay. start the Good. session. So, uh, Namaskar. We we'll have three parts. What, why, and how. Sure, sure, sure. So, Namaskar. Uh, my name is Ankur Bhatia. I'm from the team WellCure. And I welcome everyone uh, who have jo uh, to everyone who have joined in and taken up uh, their time, uh, precious time on, on a weekend. And... Uh, taking that one hour to invest in their uh, health and understand this science of uh, drugless healing. Uh, so today, you know, we are living in, in, a, uh, in a times where, you know, health, uh, medicine, vaccination, so many uh, things are playing in our heads and uh, everyone is searching for some solution and heart in heart, no one wants to take a medicine Heart in heart, no one wants to go for a surgery or any uh, medical treatment. Uh, but, you know, somewhere we feel that we are directionless. We don't know whether it is possible or not. And uh, for majority of people, only possibility when they talk about healing or health, uh, you know, the only a word comes is a medical doctor or a medical system. But is there an alternate system? Or I would say, is there, uh, is the modern medical system an alternate to the the system of uh, universe or system of nature of healing so uh, that would be something uh, a theme of the session uh, today uh, so just to introduce about uh, well cure yeah next slide Yeah, so Wellcure is an online platform uh, for all your holistic natural and uh, uh, natural health and nutrition needs. Uh, now we can proudly say that we are one of India's largest and uh, and uh, moving towards to be the world's largest platform. Right now we have more than one like uh, twenty five thousand users. We have helped more than two thousand people to reverse their you know health problems naturally through a panel of different experts, including uh, Dr. Arun Sharma. Uh, and we have more than 150 digital products, which includes live programs, uh, which includes uh, e-learning programs, uh, e-books. Uh, so many such you know uh, products are available, and uh, the the range of topics uh, is from uh, nature cure to uh, holistic nutrition to uh, healthy cooking uh, to millets. So almost everything what the uh, the community demands we have developed uh, programs to for that uh, need and i uh, request everyone to visit our website or uh, download our app which is available on both the platforms so now uh, to introduce uh, 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 dr arun sharma who is the expert today i am sure uh, many of you know him uh, but still there will be some uh, new people in the in the in the group and uh, so, uh, Dr. Arun Sharma is the founder director of Imana USA. It's uh, it stands for Institute of Maha Yoga and Natural Hygiene, and uh, he has established this internationally and also has uh, been coming to India. He's based out of US, uh, but he spends you know five to six months every year 
uh, doing a lot of workshops, programs, consultation, and uh, he's been coming here for you know almost close to seven to eight years, as far as I know, uh, and spreading this message. And it is his initiative that now a lot of awareness has uh, been increasing about this science, and uh, uh, he. Uh, He's, uh, you know, someone I would say he's an institution in it, in himself, you know, uh, by uh, combining the uh, knowledge and science of nature cure, you know, natural hygiene with the ancient uh, Indian uh, Vedic wisdom uh, and also understanding the challenges of a contemporary modern person who is living in, in a, a very stressful and uh, uh, an age of information uh, overload. So, uh, so without you know any further delay, I would uh, like to hand over the session to uh, Dr. Arun Sharma to take us through uh, today's uh, session, where he'll talk about five elements, the the nature cure science, why is it a drugless you know science, and uh, toxemia. Uh, so, and also establishing uh, throwing some light on the natural food uh, principle. So the session format will be, he'll talk about 10, 15 minutes, and then he will ask you to you know, ask questions related to what he has shared. Uh, and then uh, we'll further go on and share about uh, his uh, programs. And uh, also he'll get more opportunity to ask questions. So over to you, uh, Guruji. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Yam Brahma Varunendra Rudra Marutas Tunvanti Divyaistavai Vedai Sanga Padakramo Panishadehi Gayam Triyam Samaga Dhyana Vastita Tadgate Namanasa Pashyam Yogina Yashantam Navidusura Suragana Devaya Tasmai Namaha my obeisance to that God whom everybody loves and prays. And in the universe, there is all kinds of activities which are all so symmetrically, so perfectly organized. There are so many solar systems in the sky. When you are young, you see only one sun in the and it, we feel that it's rising in the east and going to the west. We feel that the sun is traveling, earth is stable. This imagination, this whatever we see, we believe that it is true. When we see the sun is rising in the east and going into the west, sitting in the west, we believe that the sun travels and the earth is stable. And that's what everybody believed. And the, when the first man who said, when one person said that the earth is not flat, it's globe, it's a globe, then they beat him to death. How dare you say anything against the, uh, nature's law? We see that it is flat and you're saying it's round. So they don't believe it. The truth will never change just because some people don't believe. Many people believe that medicines cure. There are so many different systems. My system is better than the other system. Everybody says that. And the word medicine has been described by a, a American scientist as it's a sin of meddling with nature, medicine. So meddling with nature means nature has got activities. And these activities were recognized by men and for millions of years, they've been following the laws of nature and living peacefully in harmony with nature. The surroundings and everything was worshiped and saved. And we have, in our Indian culture, we have so many gods, the sun god, the moon god, the earth god, and this wind god, rain god, and all, all kinds of things. Why do they say God for everything? Because they give you the idea that you have to respect nature. 
you have to keep your nature around you, the surroundings around you clean. Then we came to technology. There was technology at one time where without fuel they could fly. Maybe some people may say, oh, they are all just an imaginary story, they were not real. And so many things they used to communicate. When one person was very far away, he could communicate just by meditation, and the other person will wake up, oh my God, my brother is in trouble. So he will do something to send some help there. All this is possible and has been done and can be experimented even today. Why am I saying all these things? Is there are things which we do not know and there are things which we know. Just because we do not know that it is not possible that it's not true. Whatever we don't know, it's not true. That's what people say. When we talk about God, they say, where is God? Unnecessarily you're wasting time doing worshiping, spending money on worships and all that. So there is no God. Okay, you call it nature. Nature has got laws. All living beings, not only on the earth and outside everywhere, they live in accordance to laws of nature. When you live in accordance to laws of nature, then you are in peace. You have no problem at all. Problems come when you violate these laws. God has given us so many elements of nature around us which help us to live a very comfortable, peaceful life. And natural health science which was originally Indian, was forgotten by the influence of foreign invasions. India has been invaded by so many different people. And they were, at one time, India was the richest land of the whole world, most advanced cultural land. When the entire world did not know, when the rest of the world did not know how to wear clothes, India made the finest silk, and they were the experts in technology. And the technology did not abuse nature. That's what is important. All these technologies that they are now developing is destroying the nature. So many uh, different kinds of waves are going in the air, which we don't see, but it's eventually damaging us. So we know the technology has developed so much that I'm sitting in far away place and people are able to watch me from wherever you are. These technologies are wonderful and such wonderful diagnostic instruments have come in the medical field that they can go in, into the bodies and intricate parts and see what's going on there. All the activities, all the structure, everything can be examined. So when they are doing such wonderful thing, we believe that they are knowledgeable about health. Health is the only truth. It's the only true entity. What's an entity which has got existence? And the opposite of it, they say disease is an entity. So they have diagnosed diseases, diagnosed different conditions of the body, and they have given, started giving names of diseases. Good old times, there were only a few handful of diseases, stomach pain, headache, diarrhea, coughing, vomiting, head, all kinds of few, few diseases. And they used to do, solve them by just fasting, resting, exposing their body to sunlight, doing some deep breathing, all those things were able to solve many problems. Those were considered minor problems, but actually there was a crisis when there was severe pain in the stomach, severe headache, all those things will vanish when you give attention to the laws of nature. Laws of nature has been violated from the time we started learning about fire. 
so many things which we could not eat raw, we were able to eat raw after cooking. Oh, we have added a longer list in our food. That's what people were happy about, and we started using fire. Now, a stage has come that we do not eat anything raw. Everything we cook and eat, processed. And then we don't want to cook. If somebody is cooking and giving it us in a packet, we'll buy that. So gradually, we are drifting away from laws of nature, life natural. The natural life which we, we used to lead used to keep us healthy. And the influence of foreign invasions gave us so many new products which we got adapted into and we got addicted into drinking tea, coffee in the morning and so many uh, bad habits, smoking, drinking, and oh, one by one, the list goes on and on and on. And we have come to that stage when somebody says, you can cure diseases without drugs. I say, oh, what are you, what silly, how, how silly that can be. You have to take some medicines to cure disease. That's what people think. First and foremost, let us listen and understand one thing. Disease is not your enemy. You don't have to cure disease. Disease is itself a process of cure. Oh, what are you talking about? Disease gives us trouble, disease gives us pain, disease is uh, very horrible. We don't want to be in disease. That's what you say, how, and how can you say disease is your friend? That's the first statement from the book, New Science of Healing by Louis Kuhne, a German author, which attracted the attention of my grandfather, Acharya Lakshman Sharma. He was living an affluent life, lifestyle. He was a leading, one of the leading lawyers in, in the state of Pudukote, and he was uh, living a very luxurious life. And he, because of the lifestyle, he caught, caught into a disease called dyspepsia in good old days. That disease was one of the most dangerous disease considered in that day. But afterwards, more and more diseases came, which are even worse than that, and this disease was forgotten. We have so many new diseases that's more dangerous than each one. And they say, this is more dangerous than all that. So we so started we, giving personality we, to disease. We started giving names to disease. And it's identified in a particular location of the body. And we think that it has got independent existence apart from health. Uh, Guruji, the first part is uh, done. We have completed the first 20 minutes. So I think we can invite some questions from uh, people. Yeah, give me one more minute. So yeah. when we think of all the medical systems, which is dealing with pain and suffering, and immediately after you take medicines, you think that the pain is gone. But the pain revisits you. And as long as any attempt to cure a disease should simultaneously improve your health. That's the one statement you should remember before you ask questions. Any attempt to cure a disease should simultaneously improve health. If you're taking a medicine, aspirin, or something to solve your headache, does, ask this question, does this material improve my health? That's all. Now you can, in, I invite you questions about whatever I said so far. Sure. So there, there are, uh, there's some questions which has come, they have named some disease, you know, so one is psoriasis and someone has called, called uh, that what is the cause of migraine and how to cure it. So um, these are the two questions that just come right now, but uh, others can just type there are more questions. So in the meanwhile, he can give perspective on so, the. So now we are so uh, threatened with the names and the so threatened with the symptoms. Psoriasis doesn't come to you, come to you right away. It's not something like headache or stomach pain, which comes right away. It's only originally, it starts with bad elimination. 
constipation and urine tract, they don't work properly and your skin starts eliminating toxins. Because we, we, are, we have got so many channels of elimination, perspiration, respiration, urine and feces. That perspiration part, most of us don't get it because we don't work hard. By the sweat of thy brow thou shalt eat, they say. We don't follow all that. We have got spices, which are so wonderful, and they give us opportunity to eat anything at any time, even without hunger. Without spices, you don't enjoy food. And in uh, so many street corners, they have got fruit chart. And they put all kinds of masala and lime and everything. Masala or tejkariya. They want to add some more masala and says, oh, I enjoyed fruit chart. You didn't eat fruits, you ate masala. You didn't know the taste of fruit. You were enjoying the taste of masala. Same thing with cooked foods. So when we drift away from this, slow, slowly, even the elimination from the skin gets, is get, getting disturbed and there is deposits of toxins on the skin. It starts with itching and with small patches. And gradually, this person is irritated with it. He applies some medication on the skin and it seems to have gone. Now it starts in another place, another place. And little by little, the whole body is itching and he is getting eczema. And when you keep treating eczema continuously for some time, it becomes psoriasis even worse. There was a patient with psoriasis who was in the dark for 16 years. When he comes out in the open, its whole body is burning. Fluids comes out, acidic fluids comes out and it burns the skin and he, he is in hell. So he lives in the dark room all 16 years. He comes out in the open for taking a walk after the midnight. And if one or two persons come in front of him, they say, oh, like that, that's it. He gets so much pain in the heart that I am such a horrible person. Everybody is scared looking at me and he comes back home and cries. That person got completely new skin by following our natural health science in 29 days. Absolutely clean skin, no scratch, nothing at all. How did it happen? He was 74 years old. Even at that age, by following our principles, he got new skin. Everybody can get cured, get completely back to normal health, even if you have psoriasis. Thanks, Guruji. So, you know, there are the questions which has come there. People have named their disease and condition, which I'm sure you will be addressing in the next session when you talk about the root cause. Uh, but yeah. there is one uh, other question which has come is, sir, our in, uh, ancestors cooked and ate, but they were good. You mean that we should not eat uh, cooked food at all? When you point out to one habit of the ancestors or something, you don't point to so many other habits which they had. Which they had. A person may have been eating cooked food but he may also have been eating plenty of raw vegetables or fruits. And he may have been used to chewing the food thoroughly, eating limitedly, not overeating. And he, they may be used to a lot of physical work activities. So when you compensate one bad habit with so many other good habits, it balances out. Maybe they could have been healthier if they had also adopted the all the eat, uh, eating of raw foods regularly. Whatever we see in the open and we just say, oh, they were eating cooked food, they were healthy. What health problems they had, we don't know. Generalization is not right. If you go deeper into their habits, you will see whatever health you have is because of your healthy habits. Is there anything to challenge that? If you say cooked food is a healthy habit, there could be a healthier habit. A certain person was not using too much of his, wasting too much of his energy. He was looking healthy and 
he was looking all right. In the normal realm of today's life, most of us who look healthy are not really healthy. There are so many standards of health which we'll come to later. But all that I want to say, generalization is not right. You have to go to, into details of their habits and see why were they healthier. Thank you. Sure. So now you can continue the next section and I think uh, that will answer the query with a lot of people have asked naming different diseases. So. Yes. Okay. Naming diseases related to different parts of the body, different uh, reactions of the disease, different uh, characteristics of the disease. We have started believing that disease is real and it is it has to be dealt with. It has to be treated. I am here saying, which many people don't agree, that we don't have to treat disease. We simply have to improve our health. Between health and disease, there is only one difference. Pranasya nirmale dehe cheshtitam swasthya namakam. Pranasya samale dehe cheshtitam roga namakam. Life's activity in a clean body is called health. Life's activity in an unclean body is called disease. That's all. You have to clean up your body and you become healthier. Improving internal and external sanitation. That's the only way to improve health. And when we say internal sanitation, it extends to so many subtle pro elements. We will be surprised. Bhumi rapo na lo vayu kambano buddhi revacha ahankaram iti yamme vinna prakriti rashtadha Bhagavad Gita chapter 7 verse 4 that lists the uh, uh, elements of nature, not only these five elements of nature, but three further subtler elements of nature, which are we, out of which we are made. We use those elements to improve our health. The greatest secret of natural health science here is that subtler the element, higher its potency. Subtler the element, higher its potency. When Bhumi is re represented by all the food that we grow, we on the earth and we eat food from the plants that grow on the earth. And when we do that, we are eating grass food. Whatever we eat and drink is represented by earth element. And then we go to the water. And then we go to subtler, uh, that water is Sunlight. Sunlight is food. Nobody thinks about sunlight as food. There should be occasions when we should not eat, take the grass food, anything eat to eat or drink, but we can take food from sunlight, food from air, food from ether. What is ether? Space. What? How can space be food? We don't know that. But everything that comes from space has been consumed by us. From space came air, from air came sunlight, from sunlight came water, from water came earth. And each the element which came, came out of the other is has got quite opposite nature. Fire and water, they're uh, totally opposite in nature. Air and sunlight, they're also opposite in nature. Space and air, that's also opposite in nature. We don't know that. When we see that, Space is the original thing from which air came. So space has got potential to produce air. And from the air, there are so many elements, all the minerals and ele elements of nature is there in the air. Combination of certain elements created fire. Like that, when I'm explaining the, all these elements, we have to understand these are the things which has given in this natural health science, which shows you the difference between all of the systems of healing and this is the system of health. System of health shows you how to live a healthier life. And when you live a healthier life, you, your body and your spirit becomes healthy. Here we should not forget before we proceed, our physical, mental and spiritual health is one.
just one. There is nothing which you should do separately for spiritual health, separate for separately for mental health, separately for physical health. Whatever activities you do for physical or mental or spiritual health should simultaneously improve our other health parts of the health. There was a I have uh, referred to you about spiritual practices. Some people say for spiritual health we have to do chanting. Okay, do chanting by all means, but don't do loud chanting and disturb others. Some people were playing uh, all kinds of, keeping all kinds of loudspeaker and bright lights, and they were going, going on chanting for seven days. A loud, loud. Why are you disturbing others? You want to chant? Chant silently. Connect, to, connect yourself to God. I have... I had the unfortunate situation of having a room next to a, a compound wall and next to the compound wall was a big pandal where they were making noise, chanting. I don't think that's healthy. It's not even good for spiritual health. How can it be good for mental health or physical health? Any activity that you do for physical health should not damage your mental health. Don't do torturous things and make me think that this is going to improve your mental health. No. Actually, mental get, health gets bad if you torture your body and do some so much severe exercise. We have to do more, more and more. Don't do that. Do a little more than what you can do and stop. Body needs adequate rest as much as ample exercise. So there are guidelines which teaches us how to live healthy. If you use those guidelines, you become healthier. That's all we, we have to care. We have to become healthier than what we are. There is no limit. This is the healthiest. There is no such limit. So you can keep on going, becoming healthier. And don't do anything extreme that you cannot come back from. You cannot follow for a long time. Follow some things which are moderate and which are which are possible for you to follow all your life. And don't be too strange from others. Be normal and follow certain rules. And when you have trouble, follow the rules more strictly. What are the rules? Five guidelines for health. Ample exercise, adequate rest, positive food, positive thoughts, and Combine your passion and skill in an occupation that helps others. That's the last but not the least. That was the very most important guidelines. We know, we all know, the Bible says, by the sweat of thy brow thou shalt eat. Without doing any hard work, you cannot eat. You should not eat because physical work is essential. Every day take up running. If you take up running, your, your body circulation becomes very, very good and your distribution of heat all over the body will also be equal. These are all signs of health. Guidelines of health says ample exercise. Make sure that you give enough time for exercise and then adequate rest. Only when you do ample exercise, you will get quality rest. You didn't do any physical work and in the night when you try to sleep, you don't get to sleep. You don't get to relax your body. Why am I not getting sleep? Some people take sleeping pills. That's very bad. You are putting into your body some things which are toxic. And any attempt to improve health should simultaneously improve internal sanitation. That's all. When you take or talk about internal sanitation, it's not just physical, it's also mental and it's also spiritual. We have confusion about spirituality, we have confusion about thoughts, we have so many wrong thoughts, good thoughts, all mixing up, coming up in our brain and bothering us. Whenever, whenever we are not doing anything, these thoughts rush. And you think of so many things. Oh, am I doing this? There was a movie in which 
a person could see the mental uh, thoughts of another person. Oh, it was a horrible life for him. Oh my God, this is a guru, this is a stage sage, this is a sannyasi whom everybody is worshipping and he is now looking at a lady and he, he is thinking about all bad things and he can see this thoughts. Oh my God, give, take away this power from me. Each one of us entertain bad thoughts for some time. It doesn't matter. All that we have to do is to, oh, these thoughts are coming, keep eliminating it, keep eliminating it. If you keep eliminating bad thoughts, you will come to a stage when those files are go gone and you are peaceful. We have to do it periodically. Periodically, we have to clean our body, periodically clean, keep cleaning our thoughts and we will live a healthy life. Our body and mind, if they, if they cooperate, the spiritual peace will be automatically established. So many situations are there. People come with this disease, that disease, so many things. No matter how much we follow the natural health guidelines, we make them do exercise, we make them do relaxation, we do uh, meditation, pranayama, all kinds of things we do, but still they are not improving. Their improvement is there, but very slow. Such uh, situations were there where we found out that this person needs an occupation. When we introduced the occupation part, miracle happened and the healing was very fast and the person was healed within a week or two. What is that part? Each one of us is a unique creation of God. And this unique quality comes from your passion. Each one of us has a passion for doing some activity. And that passion we don't recognize because we are constantly told what to do by others. In the ancient school system of India, they were called Gurukula. The students had only one hour of education in the morning and they were allowed to do some uh, cleaning work or something work for the place of abode. And then they were let free. They were roaming around in the jungle doing nothing. For some time they will do nothing, but sometimes, after some time, each kid, each student will pick up some activity which is his passion. Some student is studying the insects, some student is studying different plants, some student is studying the flow in the sky. And each person becomes an expert in his own field. And that expertise is better than the forefathers who did anything in that profession. So that's how creativity boomed those days. Why am I connecting all this to our health issues? Health issue can be repaired only if a person chooses an occupation and that will combine his passion and skill can always be improved. Try to do it better and still better and you will come to perform very well. Age is no bar. We have told you the, in so many other lectures, I have told you about people who started occupation at a late stage of their life, but within a few years, they became world famous artists. Yehudi Menuhin. He started his violin career when he was 59. And in three years, when he was 63, say 64, he became world famous violinist. There is no age bar. So it, it's not just violin. Each one of you has got passion for something. Choose and search out those passions and adopt it and try practicing it at least one hour in a week. And then gradually when you see that you are enjoying that duration, you will automatically allocate more time. And when you allocate more time, you will try to improve on the performance and you will become famous. And you don't have to become famous. You will become so satisfied with yourself that you will perform well and your all your diseases vanishes. Why? How? What connection does that have? Your passion for, for food will go away. Your greed for different foods will go away because you are so in, engrossed in your occupation. 
that's what is a secret of natural health science now thank there is you. yes thanks guruji we can take a few of questions so yes uh, so there is a question that what is the difference between reversing a disease and curing a disease well is there they seem to be same curing of disease is not needed by us because we are attacking the disease instead of curing a disease when you attempt to reverse your disease process into health process all that we have to do is to adopt a healthy lifestyle that's all when you adopt a healthy lifestyle the disease goes away because when we are not attending to healthy practices then we are giving room to toxemia toxemia is accumulation of filth in the body toxins materials which do not belong in the body also when you when you put it in it's very difficult to take it out also body deals with food anything other than food body doesn't know and little by little these toxins go and reside in different places in our body and they increase bad cells they produce bad blood cells and these bad blood cells a uh, congregate and make a colony of themselves and that becomes a tumor or a, a inflammation or some kind of problem so this all the cause for all the diseases is toxemia not only in the body but also in the mind but when you are able to clear up the mind area then automatically the physical area can be cleaned easier that's what we have to understand no matter what the name of disease is we don't have to even try to reverse the disease process all that we have to say the reversing the disease process is simply improving health that's all thanks guru ji question is that uh, there's so much toxins in food and environment these days is it is advisable to you know eat uh, uh, food raw yeah the what what is the material that you eat without be without having any contamination anyhow we are eating so many other foods which are also been treated with medicines chemicals so among them vegetables are superior and in our body we need 80% of alkaline fluids which which comes only from raw vegetables even cooked vegetables do contribute to alkalinity in the body but it it is not associated with so many vitamins and minerals which are very very important for us so the chemical uh, chem the chemistry of the food becomes different after you cook so we should not cook our food in at least one meal or two meals fruits can be eaten without cooking and vegetables there are so many vegetables which can be eaten raw and only thing is we have to understand and learn the combination of certain foods which will complement the taste and when it complements taste then we get a mixture of raw vegetables which are very tasty so those things recipes can be learned and and once you learn those different varieties of raw vegetable salads then you start enjoying it when you make it very tasty without adding any salt or lime then you are able to eat raw vegetables so you don't have to reverse your disease you just have to keep keep on improving your health thank you thanks so we have 10 more minutes you can share about uh, the uh, the next you know section okay we saw what natural health is and then we saw why it is so important to follow now let us see how it can be followed the five guidelines which i gave ample exercise adequate rest positive food positive thoughts and pause and uh, combining your skill and passion in an occupation let us see what is the first one ample exercise oh i am not able to run my knee pains my i am not able to run my uh, heart beats increases and i am not able to breathe properly 
so so many excuses are there but you are able to do something right that something if you start doing a little more little more then gradually you will come to a stage that you will be able to do everything there was a patient in our camp in delhi uh, who who used to walk very slowly with a stick and gradually move from one place to another one day i saw her a third day or yeah third or fourth day in the lawn in front of the camp and in and she was walking very slowly i stopped her i confronted her and told her see that pillar that and until that place now you are going to drop your stick and you are going to run she says i never did i said now you are going to run come on and she dropped the stick and she ran and when she ran and came she is crying i never thought i could do you made me do it and she gave, in her uh, what do you call last day when we are leaving the camp she gave a lecture she was crying all the time i did not know that i can run i was so so scared short distance so all those people who say they cannot run they let them do walking and when you start walking say that you are going to run for four steps just run four steps and stop hey you are able to walk four steps run four steps and gradually you increase four to five and five to six and you will be able to run for longer and longer duration why is it necessary all the faculties of the body should be always kept in active when you do that there will be no problem and ample exercise adequate rest only if you do ample exercise the quality of rest that you have will be good and then most of us sleep late in the night that's also bad early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise they say unless we practice that how can we become healthier why is it necessary to sleep early why can't i watch some serial which starts at 9:30 or 10 o'clock in the night and keep on watching it many people do that and when they do it their quality of sleep is bad and they are thinking about all the serials say oh he should not have done this he should not have done this all their uh, problems so many people i don't want to keep on talking about bad habits of people all that i want to say here is if we have to have quality rest you must have ample exercise if we, ample exercise will enable you to rest oh my god i am tired now uh, i did running in the evening and then i had a shower and i had a early dinner and then now after 2 hours of dinner i am able to sleep comfortably pranayama do pranayama before sleeping and do deep breathing exercise and then sleep quality will be very good all the mental confusion will be given to god god take me all these problems and i am going to sleep now your quality of sleep will be very good and when you go to bed early you will be able to wake up early so adequate rest is god next thing is then we have to have positive food what is positive food there is a big chapter on that foods which are natural foods which are uh, like having plenty of water fiber and life they are the qualities of positive foods and if if it is alkaline if it's even better our body needs 80% of alkaline fluids and only 20% of acid so what is that that contributes to the alkaline fluids in the body most of the raw vegetables can contribute alkalinity in your body some fruits also contribute to alkalinity but not more not most of that so they call it ph level if it is ph level is more than 8 then it's very good some foods have ph 14 things like that if you have if the food is alkaline then it's really very good positive food and then positive thoughts that's the most important what is positive thoughts 
whatever is happening oh this has happened to me this has happened to me oh, i lost this i lost that I, i can't get into this i failed in this exam so many bad thoughts he by he criticized me he laughed at me how about all other people's opinion about you you we keep bothering yourself kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kehna that means people will talk don't keep on bothering about how they are looking at you there is if the elephant walks in the street and some dogs bark the elephant is not bothered eh hey, these silly dogs they will bark for some time and leave it at that it's their problem if they are barking it's their problem it's not elephant's problem you be an elephant in your heart be comfortable with who you are and be any challenges that comes oh i can have a new challenge to meet challenges can be met and you can go over it there are simple ways certain sometimes big problems get solved with simple solutions i can tell you so many stories about success in solving such problems but we are short we have short of time there will be occasions we will be sharing more thoughts so positive thoughts is easy to do do pranayama and pranayama followed with meditation it will dissolve all the thoughts you will come to a stage of breathlessness and thoughtlessness that's the goal of pranayama and if you are doing spending some time in that state then you will come back as a fresh person and then of course occupation i said passion you have to select your passion and once you know that your occupation will solve all the rest of the problem the last one can solve most of the dietetic regulations also so easily so these are needs detailed explanation you can skip watching so many videos that welcure has got about uh, healthy practices and you will learn more and thank you for the opportunity if you have any more questions please address thanks a lot guruji for your amazing you know insights as always it's a lot of wisdom uh, which we get in each session so uh, so now we would share you know details about the programs or those people who may need uh, you know personal consultation will share that how you can go about it so we'll <clears throat> we also have something launching uh, you know today uh, we planned it later on but we preponed it because we felt this will be a good session for people to know about uh, the new program which we have uh, launched so uh, uh karishma can you yeah upload so we have uh, three offerings you know from uh, so first offering is the uh the program on uh, practical nature cure so what you have what uh, guruji has shared today it's a it's a essence in a way of uh, of the teachings but in his programs he has expanded it to a great uh, depth so uh, wherein he has talked about all the 10 uh, you know laws the 10 tenets of nature cure the five uh, guidelines uh, the law of unity and all the natural laws which forms the foundation uh, for the nature cure uh, science so uh, then you know he'll talk about uh, his you know spoken about uh, the content on the you know about the self healing the, the expanding the concept of toxemia uh how you know we should be taking foods and then we have the entire section of frequently asked questions so he she has expanded uh, quite beautifully and cumulatively the content is close to 10 hours so so it's something i uh, recommend that everyone uh, should take it because that's the start of the journey and uh, that sets a good you know basis for uh, your your you know uh, understanding of this you know science so uh, we have also now updated the program and it includes uh, you know the demo by guruji uh, guiding about how to do hydrotherapies sun therapy you know pranayama some of you have asked you know how to do pranayama he has shared the 
unique way uh, how the nature cure inter interprets, which is slightly different from the conventional understanding about uh, pranayama. And we have two disease management modules in this. One is on uh, uh, heart disease and the uh, second one is on thyroid and third one is on diabetes. So that is also part of the program. Now moving to the uh, next, so this is the syllabus. Uh, so he has covered the five elements uh, and also about fasting, hydrotherapy. So it's a complete program from the principles, the theory to the practice for it. Now we have uh, a special program which we are launching today, uh, which uh, under guidance of uh, Dr. Arun Sharma, uh, Dr. Tulika, who's also with us in the session, she has, uh, because there was a lot of demand uh, which came in, uh, you know, how to do, cook, you know, how to make food. Yes, we understand the principles, but, you know, how to make those foods, how to make those, you know, uh, recipes, which follows the, the principles, yet, you know, uh, it is tasty and, and one can, you know, enjoy uh, those foods. So, uh, uh, what Tulika has done is an amazing work. Uh, she has put in all her knowledge and all her uh, experience of being in this journey for last uh, two to three years and, uh, you know, developed this uh, program where through the recipe she has shared the, the principles of the cooking, you know, how to go about it. So Tulika, uh, would you like to sh share with, uh, with the group that... Uh, about this you know, program which we are practicing today. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, Ankur. So, uh, so this uh, particular program that uh, uh, through Imana, like under the guidance of uh, Guruji that we are bringing forth is for the people who are starting this journey and maybe uh, for those people also who, who really wants to learn a little more deeper into how to do the nature cure way of cooking. So it is a very simple way of cooking, just keeping in mind all those um, uh, principles in mind that we are adhering for natural uh, principles. So this is what, you know, this course is going to tell you. And also, like, I personally feel in this journey, like I am here in this five, six years, like my personal journey, journey which I have come across. So I had a lot of attachment with food, you know, and food was related to certain kind of emotions, certain kind of, uh, you know, successes, failures, and all those things I, I was associating food with all those different times, you know, that I was um, facing. So with time, with this journey, natural health science, that I realized that it's a spiritual journey as well. So food is related to your spirituality, how you how how you see the food and why you choose a certain kind of food so according to guruji which i've learned that there is no bad food but there are better foods so the kind of food that you give to your body is is what your body will be made up of from like your cells will be made accordingly so this is what in this course we are trying to uh, uh so we are trying to just make it possible to make it simple and just to uh, just to make it simple in a way to know what to eat, uh, when to eat, how to eat, how much to eat, all those things. And and when we are eating it very consciously, when we are eating it uh, mindfully, and then we see the results. And and there are many patients, you know, in their in their journey when they're starting with this gross element, earth, in the five element, this is the gross element. So when they start with this element, they start seeing the results. So as we move further and further in this journey, we also realize that this is only one kind of food. There is other foods as well, which are subtler foods. So, uh, so slowly, when we get the um, get this knack of it, that how and in what way we should, um, you know, eat our food, the earth food, then, uh, you know, our our health issues or health problems are not there, you know, and we we achieve this objective to promote our health. So this is the main uh, thing which I have learned from Guruji that. We do not come here in fear of any diseases. Rather, we understand what is disease and we understand how to improve our health by adopting those practices 
In our case, we are talking about food practices that we incorporate and that will give you good and better health. So each day you can have, you know, better and better and better. So this is the, uh, the small initiative for the people who are coming in this field for beginners and for those who wants to just refresh their understanding one more time. So thank, thank you. you so much uh, to Guruji thank for guiding me in this and, and whatever uh, small mistakes that I've done, it's mine, but whatever good things which I'll be able to convey is all because of uh, Guruji. So this is uh, the thing which I wanted to say. So thank you, Ankur. Um, Forgive Thank you, Tulika. I think you know this is something which, uh, which I, I'm sure you know everyone like you, me, you know would have liked to have when we would have started journey, but now it's available, mm -hmm. and uh, so you know both the courses you can access on your mobile on you know laptop. Uh, so whichever medium you want, uh, you have full one year access, and once you complete the program, you will get uh, uh, you know a certificate also. And uh, you can do it as per your own convenience. So that's the best part of the program. You can keep, you know, repeating uh, the, the content. So now, uh, you know, what is the price and other things? So this one more thing, uh, you know, there are a lot of people in the group today also. They have, yes, the course is accessible anytime. Uh, so uh, the, uh, you know, people have talked about their condition and all. So, uh, Many of you uh, who have serious condition and uh, who uh, will need, you know, one-on-one -on -one guidance because a uh, thorough understanding of your your situation, your disease, even if maybe same for two people, but the uh, the lifestyle may be different. So th that's why the protocol of healing and other things would uh, would needs to be custom designed and you know thought through. So uh, people who want one-on-one -on -one consultation with Dr. Arun Sharma, uh, for, uh, it is available. Uh, it's a, a two-week support where 31 consultation call happens for 30 to 45 minutes uh, based on the lifestyle assessment they do. And uh, then a treatment plan, including of a diet plan, as well as natural therapies, and the five points what uh, Dr. Arun Sharma shared is uh, given to you. And a two-week support from the Imana team is there to uh, make sure that transition is there and you are able to understand and execute the, the you know, plan. And plus, you know, those who take up this, you know, coaching, we have now uh, started to offer a two-week access to, to the course so that it helps them in this, you know, uh, through this uh, journey. So now uh, how you can avail. So if you want to just buy uh, the practical nature cure program that is priced at uh, 1699 and this is a price only offered to people who are here today. So it is the, the not a price which is available outside and uh, the the special launch price for the cooking program is uh, 699 uh, rupees. You can scan the code. We have put the links in whatsapp also in the chat also or you can pay by gp and paytm on 9910607815 now uh coming to the uh, uh the program for uh, the coaching if you want to take up coaching the one on one coaching is for 6000 5000 triple nine and uh, if you want to combine the two programs the both the e learning programs the price is only 2099 and if you want to take a uh, Cooking program along with the uh, with the coaching, then the price is six four nine nine. So uh, so this offer is valid till first of March. That's Tuesday. So you can take the time to decide. But uh, we think that that will be a very good start of the the journey for you. Uh, yes. Uh, now we'll take a few remaining questions which are uh, there. So. Uh, just to you know answer, i think you know more, most of the pe people have put up the questions related to, to their specific disease so whether it is autoimmune condition or psoriasis or constipation or you know uncontrollable uh, urination sleep disruption so uh, as guruji shared you know the, the foundation is same and uh, so uh, I would recommend that those who have serious condition, including you know some of them you mentioned about cancer or or uh, other things, they can uh, uh, will be better to take up a one-on-one -on -one consultation that you know uh, because it may not be possible to give an answer to that specific uh, query. So. Uh, 
so yeah so i think you know that that would be uh, it and uh, uh, guruji uh, if there no question for the program and all you can i'll answer uh, but uh, guruji would you like to share a, a close you know closing message for for the group and uh, how they can start their journey uh, either to heal themselves or to understand the uh, the tenets of uh, uh, natural hygiene and natural health science thank you the biggest difficulty in following this is the surrounding the pressure of people around you is too much and majority of people in this world follow a different system and a few people who want to follow the right system have difficulty continuing this practice for some time because when they lose lose association with such people they will get influenced by other things and our mind is weak and we we want to say okay aaj to kha lete hain let me eat it today let me and then one more day one more day then oh, totally we see we, we drifted away from the ideal life so the most difficult part is to continue following it for a long time that difficult part can be made easy by constantly being in company with people who are like minded so welcure is offering periodic lectures and meetings so be in touch with them and get in touch with other people who are listening to this and form a group and meet once in a month have potluck bring different health foods and discuss about your health problems how you solve it and then you go along that you have your own society you have your own lifestyle your own your, your own dharma thank you thanks a lot guruji for us and uh, we hope that people uh, join in and uh, you know we'll keep continue bringing uh, you know bringing more programs and uh, we'll also share the link where past programs are there you can watch those uh, recordings as well uh, so thanks a lot guruji thanks a lot to lika also for your uh, presence thanks everyone ajara prabhavo dharma dharmasya prabhurachuta thank you thank you we'll be sharing the recording also with you thank yes. you thank Come you in.